What's up, y'all? It's Emil and it's Junior back here with Clever Music. And Mariah Carey may be the one to save 2020 as she just announced that she's dropping a new album this fall. The five-time Grammy Award winner took to Instagram on Tuesday to announce the news, writing, this one is for you, my fans. It's to celebrate us and to thank you for years of pure love and support. I am so grateful to you. The Rarities album is out October 2nd. And the album release date is just a few days after Mariah's memoir, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, is set to be released as well. The album will feature unreleased tracks, including an unreleased collaboration with Lauryn Hill titled Save the Day, which will be released this Friday, August 21st. Mariah announced the release date for the song on Good Morning America, and the track reportedly contains a Lauryn Hill sample from the Fuji's rendition of the classic hit Killing Me Softly with his song. The Rarities is part of Mariah's MC30 campaign, which celebrates the 30th anniversary of her debut album. There have been weekly releases including digital EPs, remixes, bonus cuts, rare tracks, acapella renditions, and live performances, and Mariah has also shared video footage, photos, and personal notes on her social media pages. The new album will include 17 recordings from Mariah's live shows at the Tokyo Dome during her 1996 Daydream tour, but some of the performances include Mariah's fan favorite hits including Always Be My Baby, All I Want For Christmas Is You, Emotions, and Hero. When speaking with Good Morning America on Wednesday, Mariah said, quote, I found stuff in my vault that I had either started to work on a long time ago and never released, or that I wanted to finish mixing. They are songs that have pre previously not been released, it's exciting and it's a monumental occasion for my career. Mariah continued to describe what it was like to write the album and why it's so close to her heart. There are, um, there are a lot of very personal stories about my childhood that I think, um, you know, those, those were difficult but very cathartic as well. And the cool thing about this project is that there are songs that I talk about writing um, or recording, you know, even as a as a as a little kid, like starting as a little kid until now that I found in the vault. And so we're kind of putting this out at the same time. And I don't want to give it away too many titles or anything, but um, it's exciting because they're they're kind of like merged together. Mariah first teased a new album in June as she was celebrating the 30th anniversary of her self-titled debut album. She shared this post writing, Thank you, Lambly, for all the celebratory messages for today's MC30 anniversary. I had planned to share some surprises and rarities with you, but prefer to postpone them to a later date. The album is available for pre-order now, and fans along with fellow celebrities cannot contain their excitement for the new album. Jordan Sparks took to Mariah's Instagram post and wrote, Oh my goodness, yes, thank you for this. Mariah's boyfriend, Brian, commented, I'm I'm so happy for you, babe. This album is everything. Heidi Klum shared a crown, heart, and kissy face emoji, and fellow musician Anita shared her excitement by commenting, ah! And fans are just as excited. One fan took to Twitter writing, listen, 2020 has been a sh show so far. My wedding postponed, cheerleading, who knows, but Mariah Carey announced she's releasing a new album. I think I'm gonna be okay. Another fan tweeted, Mimi is releasing a new album in October. Mariah Carey, thank you, mom. And this fan summed it up perfectly writing, Mariah Mariah Carey, thank you for all you are doing for us. All the wonderful Fridays and the book and now a brand new album. Only Mariah does this much for her fans. And we can't wait to hear the new album. But for more music news, click right over here to find out which female artist made Billboard Hot 100 history this week. And then let us know what you think about all this Mariah Carey news down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emilianis Jr. And I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, guys.